The 90s and 2000s have produced some of the most remarkable and breathtaking shows. Shows that captivated the audience's attention and made them watch every season. Welcome to Binge TV, and here are the top 10 TV shows everyone should watch at least once. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn notifications on for more videos like this one. 10th place, Star Trek The Next Generation. Star Trek The Next Generation is a science fiction television series that aired over seven seasons. The show was very popular, reaching almost 12 million viewers in its fifth season, with the series finale in 1994 watched by over 30 million viewers. The series received many accolades, including 19 Emmy Awards, two Hugo Awards, five Saturn Awards, and a Peabody Award. The series focuses on the 24th century adventures of Captain Jean-Luc Picard aboard the USS Enterprise. This famous starship carries a larger crew complement, 1,012 men, women, and children. This era's Starfleet command believes that men and women are more likely to sign up for long-term exploratory missions if they think of their ship as home. Thus, Picard's crew enjoys many of the comforts they'd have otherwise left behind, including a wide variety of recreational opportunities. The ongoing mission is to seek out new life and new civilizations, and to boldly go where no one has gone before. Ninth Place – Friends Friends is a sitcom that aired on NBC lasting 10 seasons. The show revolves around six friends, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry, and David Schwimmer. The series was nominated for 62 Primetime Emmy Awards, winning the Outstanding Comedy Series Award in 2002 for its eighth season. The show ranked number 21 on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time and number 7 on Empire Magazine's The 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time. Episodes depict the friends' comedic and romantic adventures and career issues, such as Joey auditioning for roles or Rachel seeking jobs in the fashion industry. The six characters each have many dates and serious relationships, such as Monica with Richard Burke and Ross with Emily Waltham. Ross and Rachel's intermittent relationship is the most often recurring storyline. During the ten seasons of the show, they repeatedly date and break up. Ross briefly marries Emily, Ross and Rachel have a child together, Chandler and Monica date and marry each other, and Phoebe marries Mike Hannigan. 8th place, The Leftovers. The Leftovers is a supernatural mystery drama aired on HBO. Based on Perota's 2011, the series begins three years after the sudden departure, a global event that resulted in 2% of the world's population disappearing. Several years after a rapture-like event in which millions of people worldwide suddenly vanish without explanation, the citizens of Mapleton, Ohio are still struggling to cope with the massive loss and resulting culture shift. The lives of police chief Kevin Garvey and his family, along with grieving widow Nora Durst and her brother, Reverend Matt Jameson, are the focal points of the series as they struggle to adjust to life after the departure. Seventh place, The Simpsons. The Simpsons is a satirical depiction of American life epitomized by the Simpson family, which consists of Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. The Simpsons received acclaim throughout its early seasons in the 1990s, which are generally considered its golden age. Time named it the 20th century's best television series, and Eric Adams of the AV Club named it television's crowning achievement regardless of format. On January 14, 2000, The Simpson Family was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It has won dozens of awards since it debuted as a series, including 34 Primetime Emmy Awards, 34 Annie Awards, and two Peabody Awards. Simpson's Family lives in a fictional Middle America town of Springfield. Homer, the father, works as a safety inspector at the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. He is married to Marge Bouvier, a housewife and mother. They have three children, Bart the troublemaker and prankster, Lisa an activist, and Maggie the baby of the family who communicates by sucking on a pacifier. Many episodes examine their relationships and bonds with each other, and they are often shown to care about one another. Sixth place, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks premiered on ABC in 1990 and ran for two seasons. 
Twin Peaks is often listed among the greatest television series of all time and has received universal acclaim from critics and audiences. It is considered a landmark turning point in television drama. The series follows an investigation, headed by FBI Special Agent Dale Cooper and local Sheriff Harry S. Truman, into the murder of homecoming Queen Laura Palmer in the fictional town of Twin Peaks, Washington. The show's narrative draws on elements of detective fiction, supernatural elements, and melodramatic portrayal of eccentric characters also pay homage to American soap operas and horror tropes. Fifth place, Supernatural. Supernatural was broadcast in 2005 on the WB and subsequently became part of successor The CW's lineup. The pilot was viewed by an estimated 5.69 million viewers, and the ratings of the first four episodes prompted the WB to pick up the series for a full season. 26 years ago, Sam and Dean Winchester lost their mother to a mysterious and demonic supernatural force. Their father raised them to be soldiers and taught them about the paranormal evil that lives in the dark corners and on the back roads of America. This haunting series follows the Winchester brothers as they crisscross the lonely and mysterious back roads of the country in their 67 Chevy Impala, hunting down every evil supernatural force they encounter along the way. Fourth place, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was premiered in 1997 and concluded in 2003. The series' narrative follows Buffy Summers, the latest in a line of young women known as Vampire Slayers. Slayers are chosen by fate to battle against vampires, demons, and other forces of darkness. Buffy wants to live a normal life, but as the series progresses, she learns to embrace her destiny. Buffy is aided by a Watcher, who guides, teaches, and trains her. Buffy surrounds herself with a circle of loyal friends who become known as the Scooby Gang. The series was nominated for the American Film Institute Award for Drama Series of the Year. Geller was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress Television Series Drama for her performance in the show. And the series was nominated five times for Television Critics Association Awards, winning once in 2003 for the Television Critics Association Heritage Award. Third place. Hannibal. Hannibal focuses on the relationship between FBI Special Investigator Will Graham and Dr. Hannibal Lecter, a forensic psychiatrist destined to become Graham's most cunning enemy and, at the same time, the only person who can understand him. Hannibal Lecter, who is secretly a cannibalistic serial killer, works to manipulate the FBI from within, but the bond he builds with Graham begins to threaten his longevity. Lecter is fascinated by Graham's ability to empathize with psychopathic murderers and tries to push the boundaries of Graham's fragile sanity to turn him into a killer himself. The first two seasons each won the Saturn Awards for Best Network Television Series, while both Mickelson and Dancy won Best Actor, with Lawrence Fishburne winning Best Supporting Actor for Season 2. The third and final season won the inaugural Best Action Thriller Television Series, while guest star Richard Armitage won Best Supporting Actor. Second place, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has a large ensemble cast and follows several story arcs throughout the show. The series follows several simultaneous plot lines. The first story arc follows a war of succession among competing claimants for control of the Iron Throne of the Seven Kingdoms, with other noble families fighting for independence from the throne. The second concerns the exiled Scion's actions to reclaim the throne. The third chronicles the threat of the impending winter, as well as the legendary creatures and fierce peoples of the North. Game of Thrones attracted record viewership on HBO and has an active and international fan base. Critics have praised the series for its acting, complex characters, story, scope, and production values. The series received 59 Primetime Emmy Awards, the most by a drama series, including Outstanding Drama Series in 2015, 2016, 2018, and 2019. First place, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad aired on AMC from 2008 to 2013, consisting of five seasons for a total of 62 episodes. 
It was set and filmed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and tells the story of Walter White, an underpaid, overqualified, and dispirited high school chemistry teacher who is struggling with a recent diagnosis of stage 3 lung cancer. White turns to a life of crime, partnering with his former student Jesse Pinkman by producing and distributing crystal meth to secure his family's financial future before he dies while navigating the dangers of the criminal underworld. The show received numerous awards, including 16 Primetime Emmy Awards, 8 Satellite Awards, 2 Golden Globe Awards, 2 Peabody Awards, 2 Critics' Choice Awards, and 4 Television Critics' Association Awards. Cranston won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series four times, while Aaron Paul won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series three times. Anna Gunn won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series twice. In 2013, Breaking Bad entered the Guinness World Records as the most critically acclaimed show of all time. So what are your thoughts on all these shows? Let us know in the comments below. Also make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for more.